Hello everybody, it's Scott Omaro with another video in my tutorial series on the application Multi-MC, a sleek and powerful launcher for Minecraft. Uh, guys, I'm going to do like an addendum to my instances video and I'm going to show you how to install Feed the Beast private packs. Okay, I kind of like just brushed over that a little bit, but we're going to create a new instance. Okay, and then we're going to go to FTB Legacy. All right, and then we're gonna to go to the private area here, okay? And we're gonna add a pack by pack code. That's what this is, enter the pack code, okay? So there's places online that you could get them, but if you wanna play with uh, some immediately, let me go to the window for it. Uh, right here is private packs, okay? So you could get a list of private packs and I'll leave a link in the description here on the FTB wiki for private packs and there's a few of them a little bit older ones um obviously because it's the feed the beast launcher uh which has mer now merged with curse but basically like some interesting ones are like ethos let's play is on there that's right here this is 1.7.10 let's play for modded and you know he uh altered the world generation a bit that i don't think is reflected in the pack but this at least has some of the mods then another one is blood and bones which is a really pretty hard pack uh token craft 2 so you know there's a few of them so let me just show you how to do it basically you just find them online and then get what the code is so like the ethos pack the code is etho simple enough so add pack etho and there you go pulls it down very cool so you can see the the version of the pack and the game version get some information about it and all that okay uh so we'll go ahead and just say all right and add that and it'll download it uh from feed the beast and you know depending on the size of the pack determines how long it'll take obviously to download and your internet connection speed and all of that but looks like this was not going to be too bad in fact it's done already as far as the downloads now it's extracting it and then there we go got the pack got all the mods that go with it and so we're ready to play like ito uh let's check blood and bones uh, i think it's is it blood in in let's see where that's at right here yeah blood in bones i don't know what the difference between red and it'll probably tell us somewhere Uh, I don't know. You'd have to read it. It's not that important. But let's, uh, I guess we could keep that in the launcher if we wanted to do it again. Not sure how that goes. But uh, let's remove it, I suppose. I'm gonna remove. Let's see what it does if you remove it. I think it just removes it from the launcher. Um, let's try that again. Go to private, add pack blood and bones hey okay. yeah there's that guy and so i guess you have to yeah you have to select it so i guess you could keep more than one like if you just wanted that etho being listed in there just so you, that you remember the code so you could go through here and get a list of them then it doesn't actually install it until you select it tells you the version tells you all that there we go so it's downloading it and it's downloading it from feed the beast so we should be good on that. Uh, and then you'll you'll find some space throughout forums and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, some kind of interesting ones. Divine Adventure uh, is a good one. And then some of the betas, which we're not so interested in. Like there's even a Dire Wolf 20 beta up here, 1.5 beta. Uh, Future Craft. So yeah, quite a few little packs, pretty cool. So there we go, blood and bones, and get our edit to instance. You now you can see the Minecraft version 1.6.4, all the mods. So puts us in good shape. Now, of course, this guy you would probably need, since it's 1.6.4, you'd probably need to add the sounds, and I'll be doing a sounds video here at some point. Anyway, I hope that was helpful to you, and that's going to be it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. This is Scott Obato. Bye-bye.